Hey guys, I'm Tara Hurt, your chemistry instructor this summer. I just recorded a big 20 something minute, hey, welcome to chemistry video. And when, when I went to watch it, make sure it worked. I didn't have the microphone on. So I'm going to do it again. <laughs> um, welcome to chemistry. I hope that you guys are not uh, watching this video on a Saturday or Sunday, because if that's the case, it means you've waited pretty late in the week to start your assignments for week one. Don't wait till the weekend. You've got to attack this the first day of the week. I mean, I know we're just starting this week on Tuesday, but you've got to get on here and start working on stuff on Monday. Um, do not wait till the last minute. Um, now, what do you have to do the first week to get started? All the assignments are posted here in a module, module one, week one. I know there's a lot of stuff listed there. Don't be surprised. I mean, there's a welcome, which is me saying a lot of what I'm going to say right now. I do want to real quick with you because one of the things I go through in the welcome is say, go over your syllabus. So I'm going to go on the left over here, click on syllabus, and I'm just going to roll through it real quick and point out some highlights, okay? Um, how do you contact me? D use my email or do uh, a Canvas, an inbox message. That's how you should contact me. Uh, I will not be in my office this summer, so voicemails, um, I won't be there to get them. What do you have to have for the course? Three things. Number one, this is an ebook class, so you don't have to buy the book. You have access to it already. I'll show you that in just a second. If you want to buy a hardcover book because it's chemistry and some courses, maybe you just think, I really would rather have a book, then you can do that. You can find a chemistry book on Amazon. Uh, just look for the same author, Julia Burge. Look for a second edition if you just want a book. Don't get a fifth. Just look for a second edition. You can get those really cheap on Amazon for like $15. Okay, but you guys do. You've been reading for some practice. time now, but you haven't stopped to practice. Regularly practice. practicing what you've read helps you strengthen comprehension and retention. That is one of these tabs talking to us from when I was recording earlier. Okay. Now, she's closed out now. Okay. Um, my bad. Anyway, you have access to the ebook. Second thing is the lab. You're going to have to purchase this. You will need to purchase access to the virtual lab. Um, and I do not know off the top of my head how much that is. Y'all, I think it's oh, I think it's less than $100, but I don't know. Uh, the third thing you need is a scientific calculator. Okay, you're getting four credit hours for the class. The Everything averages together, like the lab and the tests and homework. Um, college algebra is a prereq for the class. You need to have already completed college algebra. It's chemistry is um, heavily math-based. Uh, you have to attend class. Um, Y'all, I'm skimming through this, but you guys need to maybe print it and read it on your own, okay? How do you attend class? You attend class in an online class by completing assignments. If you miss too many assignments and you're marked absent, absent then you get dropped from the course. This will explain that. Um, proctored exams. You will take two proctored exams. There's a proctored midterm and a proctored final. The midterm will cover chapters three and four. The final will be comprehensive. Uh, proctoring. In this class, you have to use smarter proctoring. What that means is when you take the proctored exam, you will have to go to campus, sit in a computer lab with a proctor to take the exam. You are not to use any books or notes or internet or help from a friend while taking the test. Um, there's another, some online courses allow you to use Honor Lock. I do not allow Honor Lock in this course. You have to use Smarter Proctoring. You have to go to a proctoring center. Um, I encourage y'all, because see, test one and test three and four are not proctored, okay? Only test two, which is the midterm, and the final. 
but even though the other tests aren't proctored, I encourage you to discipline yourself to take those tests with no books, no notebooks, no internet, no friend helping you. Um, because that's going to benefit you. Don't cheat yourself by cheating on those tests. Because what happens when a student cheats on those tests, then they fall apart on the proctored midterm and final. They haven't conditioned themselves to do well on a proctored test. Okay, and it shows. So I encourage you to, you know, to condition yourself and don't cheat yourself to not do well. Take the test without books, without notes, without a friend, without internet. Um, assignments are posted on a weekly basis, y'all, so they're open for seven days. They're not accepted late. Um, how things are graded in the breakdown, it's here on the syllabus. You can see the midterms 25% and the finals 25%. So the proctored work is 50% of the course. So um, you have to do well on the proctored work and you have to do well on the other stuff in order to be successful in the course. I encourage y'all to treat the course like you were going to campus and taking uh, chemistry. If you took chemistry in the summer on campus, you would be sitting in lecture two hours a day for four days. That's eight hours a lecture for chemistry. You'd be going to lab two days and spending two or three hours each day in lab. So you're looking at up to six hours a lab. That's a total of 14 hours a week um, in class if it was a summer intensive, okay? We're doing eight weeks, so that's spread out a little more. But you've got to be ready to commit, I would say six to seven hours a week watching my YouTube videos and doing the chemistry, okay? And that's bare minimum, guys. Six, seven hours a week is bare minimum. Um, some of us need more than six or seven hours a week. <clears throat> some of us can do it in six or seven hours a week, okay? I mean, it's just the way we're wired. So you've got to put in the work that you need to put in to be successful. Uh... Y'all will read through this on your own. Um, there's a schedule on your syllabus of when the tests are, what labs are due each week. This is organized in the course in modules. I've got all of this listed. There's a module, for example, week six that lists all this stuff, okay? But it's also here on the syllabus. All your exams are given on Canvas, even the proctored ones. Um, they are timed. That's just to help preserve the integrity of it. Um, be sure that when you get ready to take a test that, you know, you don't have any distractions, y'all, because if, I mean, if something, if there, don't take a test during a lightning storm because you're going to lose power and, you know, you, the internet is going to go out. So plan accordingly. I don't do a reset of a test. You get one time, once you click on the test, you have to take it. Uh, I do allow the final exam uh, to replace the lowest test grade. It can't replace the midterm, but if you score higher on the final, it can replace the lower grade of your other three tests that you took at home. So if something goes wrong and you get, uh, if you lose power or, or what have you, I mean, that can help in that situation. Homework is all done through Connect, and I have a feeling a lot of y'all are familiar with Connect. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about it in a minute, because that's also where your book is. Um, you have the whole seven days to do the homework assignment. So, for example, um, if you click on a homework assignment today, it's not like a test. You know, a test, if you click on it today, you've got to work it right then. But homework is not that way. You can click on it today and you can go through and read every homework question, and then you can come back tomorrow and look at it again. If you click on it today and you can answer the first three, great you can come back tomorrow and start with number four because it will save your work so i encourage you too to kind of work along that a little bit each day don't try to jump in and do it all at once um i, I mentioned earlier you have to purchase access to the hayden mcneil labs the virtual labs you're going to run a procedure um you're going to write down your information data whether it's the mass of the beaker or volume of stuff or whatever and 
once you've run the whole lab, then there's a multiple choice section for you to answer questions about. You can run the lab two, three, five times if you want to, but you can only answer the multiple choice questions one time. So be sure that when you get ready to answer those multiple choice questions that you've already run the lab. Um, also, as you run the lab multiple times, you should get the same data every time. Like the mass of the beaker, if it was 50 grams the first time, it should be 50 grams the second time. Okay, that's the way that lab is. Be sure you're getting the right size beaker though, because a 100 mil beaker is not gonna weigh the same as a 200 mil beaker. Um, the grades for the lab will not automatically load into Canvas. I have to do that manually. Y'all will see what you make on the lab as soon as you finish it, but after Sunday night the following week, I go in and I manually transfer the grades into Canvas. So they will not load automatically. There'll be a delay in that. Um, all assignments are for each week or in a module. Uh, you'll have to work through those within the week. Um, I, again, I don't do extension, y'all, because you've got it there for seven days. So, so module one, you know, the welcome is a lot of what I've said now. The next thing you see there is an introductions. Um, if you'll go, if you click on that, it's just a discussion where you introduce yourself and say something. I mean, tell us about you. Um, and I, I'll let you guys know, I didn't put this in the introduction. Uh, but the first week that we're in class, our family is, um, we're going on a, a big trip. We're headed to Yellowstone. So I'm going to be working with y'all every t chance I get, get Wi-Fi and can get on there and, and I'm answering your emails. But the first week that you guys are in class, I'm on my way driving and um, hiking in Yellowstone. So, I mean, I'm really remote learning and doing this remotely for that first week. Um, but just introduce yourself. That's going to give you a free uh, 100 homework grade. Okay, so you're starting with 100 just by doing that. Next thing you need to do this week is take the orientation quiz. Um, there's 11 questions. Print your syllabus. The answers to the quiz stuff are from the syllabus. Okay, so I encourage you to look at the syllabus as you do that quiz because that can be a free 100 as well. How are you going to learn chemistry? You're going to learn chemistry by watching uh, my YouTube lectures. You feel free to look for others because there's other folks out there that are really good at explaining chemistry and they have YouTube channels. Um, but you're going to watch my lectures. So sit down, watch them, and just like you would in a classroom, hopefully you would have a notebook and a calculator and you'd be writing down notes as I'm YouTube lecturing and you're working problems along with me, okay? I do not want you to think you have to learn chemistry by reading the book and teaching yourself because I, I am going to teach you with the YouTube lectures. That being said, you still may need to read the book. So it's not just watch the chapter one videos, but sometimes, you know, we just need a little more. We need to read the book for maybe a little more background. So you do have access to a book. Um, this little page here will tell you about Connect. There's different types of Connect assignments. And these next two entries are the Connect assignments. And that's where your book is. And so I'm going to click on this first one, Chapter 1, Chemistry, the Central Science. This is one type of assignment that you'll have to do the first week. And it, I'm going to go to the preview page. Okay, and you're going to see the book. I didn't click on exit, but okay. And so here, read the book. Now, this is an assignment. So a lot of students say, well, it, I'll get messages about this. They'll say, it looked like all I had to do is read the book. Do you guys see at the bottom left of the screen where it says practice? Okay, it is about reading the book, but this is where the grades come from, okay? And so, match matching the amount of a substance with how it's measured, and let me show you. Okay, so I'm, I'm just clicking and dragging those. Y'all can't see my finger moving, but I'm, I really wanted to make them connect. I 
I don't know that it, there it goes. Okay, I clicked on the middle and made it connect. I'm doing this on my iPad, so it might be simpler to use on a computer. Okay, now this assignment, if I miss a question, um, if I miss a question, that doesn't mean that I've missed it and I, I don't have another chance. If you miss a question, just keep working through that question will pop up again. These are kind of like note cards. You know, if you miss one, it's still in the stack and it's coming to you again. Um, if you come to a point and you really start missing a lot of them, that's what you guys heard earlier when I was talking. Um, like, let me see if I can get it to do it again. It was the girl on here saying, it seems like you need to read. Okay, I'm just clicking these. Well, that one, it's just so happened they were right. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to miss some, and it'll she'll pop up and say, it looks like you need to read some more. It looks like you need to read a little bit more at there this point. There you go, okay? So then go back to your book and read some more. All right, that's one kind of assignment. Um, the other assignment in your modules, Chapter 1 Connect. These questions are a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more intense, I think. Um, not quite as easy as the one I just showed you. Again, y'all can see at the top, there's 25 questions. Um, you can work them in whatever order you want, although I don't know why somebody would wanna do it out of order. Um, <laughs> and so, look, you see where it says three attempts at the top? So if, say for example, I'm working this one, like what is A, solid, liquid, or gas? B. C, all right, D, I'm going to put, the, well, I'm going to put it to liquid. All right, watch. When I say check my work, it tells me what I missed, okay? Now, my attempts just dropped to two attempts. I'm going to go fix it, the last one. Check my work. I got them all right that time. I still got 10 points. Just because I missed, missed it, it didn't deduce the number of, deduct, the number of points that I can get, okay? Um... Also, in working this, do y'all see on the right where it has like guided solution? Watch when I click on that. Do not just click off the pop-up and just say, yeah, show me. Read it because it says if, if it goes through the solution, you're losing the points on this question. It's going to show you how to do it and you're not going to get another chance. Okay? Um, now, I have this set on your homework like these 25, if you work through the whole 25 and you make a 94 on it and you're happy with that, then that's fine. But if you think, man, I made a 94, I could make a 100, you can rework all 25 and I will take your high score. Sometimes what happens is a student will make, you know, maybe an 80 and they think, well, I'm going to rework it for a 100 and then, you know, something happens and... They don't. Ha they forget about working it, and they end up doing worse on the second time than they did on the first time. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to take your high score. Whatever attempt it is, I'll keep your high score. So, okay, that's connect. The next things in here tells you how to purchase the lab, and then these are not. At these are just telling you these are the labs you have to do. Okay, so how you'll do the lab. Didn't mean to click on that. Again, you have to purchase it. The name of the course you're looking for is, there it is, East Mississippi Community College, CHE 1214, et cetera, et cetera. So, that's the course that you'll enroll in. So, it looks something like this on Hayden McNeil Labs. There I have it at the top. And this, I mean, you guys are, y'all are going to have no trouble figuring out how to use this. Um, the labs on here are pretty much in order. Those first four are the ones you do for this week. And you can see I've expanded the second one, the laboratory skills one. The little green book there, that's your, um, that's your procedure. So if I click, that little MC laboratory, you see where I've got it moving there? That's your multiple choice questions. Don't click on that until you've run the lab, okay? So like if I click on lab skills, 
this is your background information from the book about whatever it's talking about. So this one's with measurements and significant figures and measuring masses and stuff and volumes. and um, the, the blue button there in the middle will open the virtual lab. It's a good idea to do two tabs because this is your procedure. This is your steps of what you have to do here are going to be on this page, but you're going to open the virtual lab by clicking on the blue box. And this is just a, it's a click and drag lab and you do whatever the procedure says. Before you start, you've got to say that you're wearing all the safety equipment. Go into the virtual lab. And y'all, this is where I was telling you, like if you, um, if you get a balance from the bench and like if I were to weigh this 250 mil beaker, see, it says on the scale 110.000 grams. You can write that down on a notebook or you can use the little notebook on the virtual lab. I like to write it on a notebook, but you guys, you can do it however you want. Um, but look, every time I weigh that 250 mil beaker, it's going to weigh the same. So <clears throat> just be aware of that. Um, when you need to add like water to it, you drag it over the beaker. I mean, it's going to tell you how to do all this. I don't have to show you. It's just kind of fun. Okay. And so look at the mass. It went up, etc. cetera. Um, you can zoom in on things and look at them with the little zoom buttons on the left. So I can follow this procedure. I can read it and work it and write everything down. And then it's a good idea to go back and do it again and just double check that everything I wrote was correct. Because the multiple choice questions, they're gonna ask things like, how much did the 250 mil beaker weigh? And I mean, how easy is that? This is a beaker with water. So don't, you know, don't pick the wrong one. Just be sure you record your data carefully. You only get to answer the multiple choice questions one time. Okay, and so week one, you've got four labs to do. Y'all, these will not take, you're going to get quicker the more you do the labs. Um, I, I hate, I mean, I'm not going to tell you that you ought to be able to finish all four in two hours. I don't know, but it, it will not take that long to work all four. Again, we all work at a different pace, okay? And so that's your items to work through for module one. I can talk through it a lot quicker than you guys are gonna work through it. Um, message me if you have questions, email me if you have questions. I try to respond within 24 hours. I sincerely try to do that. Um, sometimes when the weekend gets here, it, that's usually when my responses might take a little bit longer. Um, Y'all, if you email me on Sunday night, I mean, even at 6 p.m., Assignments are due at midnight. I may not get back to you before assignments are due. So that's, it's imperative that you uh, start working on things early in the week. Okay. Um, there's a lot of you in here. I think as of today, there are 70 students registered for the class. So uh, let's get to work. <laughs>